Well, as you can guess, these two are not Bonnie and Clyde. This is Henry Lucas and Otis Tool. Henry Lucas and Otis Tool are two of the most notorious serial killers in American history. Together, they claim to have committed hundreds of murders and other crimes, including rape and arson. If the authorities believed Lucas, that number would be as high as 600. Their relationship began uh, that, and it was deeply rooted in the physical and sexual abuse that they experienced as kids. Because of such trauma, they found a like-minded individual in each other thus beginning their criminal and personal partnership. Both men were murderers long before they met. Lucas killed his mother in 1960, serving 10 years for that crime. When he met Tool at a Florida soup kitchen after being released from his second prison stint in 1975, Tool was believed to have already killed at least four people. They soon partnered and spent the rest of the 1970s traveling, murdering, raping their way through at least 26 states. However, their partnership hit a rocky patch when Lucas became interested in Tool's teenage niece, Becky Powell. Lucas abandoned Tool and ran away with the only girl he ever loved. Unfortunately, Becky's life would soon end. She was 15 when she died, at the hands of Lucas, no less. Not long after Lucas was arrested in Texas, Tool would later be arrested in 1984 for setting fire to a man while he was still alive. Once in custody, the two men began confessing to dozens of murders. With a series of crimes, they were both sentenced to death, but both died of natural causes after serving less than 20 years. Tool in 1996 and Lucas in 2001. On a side note, and it's a sad side note, in 1983, Tool confessed to killing six-year-old Adam Walsh. John Walsh believed Tool was his son's killer, and the police agreed. In 2008, they closed Adam's case, listing Tool as the killer. In addition, Tool's niece revealed that Tool confessed again on his deathbed that he indeed did kill little Adam Walsh. <laughs>